It is 2038. I live with a small group of people in the center of what was the United States of America. We live off the remains of civilization. We look through houses and businesses to find food and other supplies. As we scavenge, we find and bury the dead. We plant gardens and raise food animals. We capture rainwater and dig wells. The people we designate as engineers try to recover what technology we can. We use solar generators to run the small electronic devices that still operate. We can't get electricity online because the infrastructure is broken and we have neither the knowledge nor the parts. We siphon precious oil and fuel from the many abandoned vehicles. We do have shortwave radio contact with other groups. We are heavily armed to protect us from marauders. This is what we know. In the early 2020s an engineered virus spread throughout the planet. It was deadly but not civilization destroying. Perhaps the greatest damage was to the economy of the world. This gave people with ill intent information on virus spread and government responses they needed in creating an effective bioweapon. Russia and China, working together, developed an extremely deadly avian virus. They developed two versions. One mild form that was just strong enough to give a person antibodies to the avian virus. This vaccine was injected into the Russian and Chinese population. About a year later, agents of Russia and China released the avian virus with 70% mortality all over the world. The virus was also designed to be 100% lethal to people of African descent. People started dying in mass. Bodies were piled up and burned. Even now piles of human bone fragments are still seen in the cremation areas. The civilization collapsed. The people that died of the pandemic was just the start. Many of those that were left died of starvation and illness. Diabetics and others died without the life-saving medication they needed. Medical problems that were easily handled in the past are now fatal. Despite the vaccination, the Russians and Chinese still had great loss in population. But nowhere near the 70% the rest of the world experienced or the near 100% in Africa. The leadership of the two nations soon discovered how reliant they were to the rest of the world for supplies. They also experienced mass starvation. They went on a conquering spree invading nearby nations for resources. Russia invaded Alaska and Europe. China invaded the American West Coast, Hawaii, India, Taiwan, Japan and other Pacific nations. They killed men, old women, and male children on sight. Even now, Americans are battling Russians and Chinese as these countries press the invasion. But ammunition is running low, and there is no central government to organize a large coordinated response. So now we listen to the shortwave radio to monitor the advance of the invaders. We spend the evenings discussing what to do as the enemy approaches. Flee or fight or both. So, this is our world. If only the people and leaders of the 2020s had greater wisdom and humanity.